And the headline is the secret behind the secret to get sellers to list with you. A uh, very interesting conversation. Just got off a training right now with over 100 agents from um, a uh, Keller Williams office in uh, New Jersey. And the conversation that we were having revolved around how to get people to choose to work with you versus anyone else. How to get people to choose to work with you versus the competition. And everybody's talking about the competition's fears and everyone's cutting their commission and uh, doing all that crazy stuff. And here we are listing just about anyone and everyone that we get in conversation with. So before I get into you know, my thoughts and my rant and my strategies and magical formulas and all that good stuff, uh, I'm curious to find out what you think what you think. So I, I will pose the question for you to answer right now. And please answer, be brave, be courageous. Uh, so I can correct you and, and give you the better strategy on how to convert more of your listing appointments into actual listing contracts. Why should I work with you? I'm a seller. I am a seller. I want to sell my house. Why should I list my home with you? Like literally, why should I list my home with you? What is your response? What are you going to tell me? Why should I list my home with you? I'm waiting. Start typing. Even if you're a replay, I'm still waiting. I'm going to get the notification. I'm going to see it. I'm going to reply. Why should I list my home with you? I'll keep waiting. Very interesting question. And I'm willing to bet that some of you guys are probably thinking to yourself right now, but sellers don't really ask me why I should list my home with you. And what I would say to that is, just because they're not saying it doesn't mean they're not thinking it doesn't mean they're not waiting for it obviously they gotta have a compelling emotion a compelling belief to believe that who you are is the person that's going to give them the best of what they could possibly get from the sale of their home so you got to get very good at communicating that and the way that we do that is by using something called propitious selling statements. So I'm curious, how many of you guys ever heard the word propitious before I made it up? I'm joking, I did not make up the word propitious. It's an actual word, you can look it up in, in, in the dictionary. So the secret behind the secret to getting people to list their home with you versus the competition is by using propitious selling statements. Saying the right thing in the right way to where you can get the client to see in their mind or feel in their heart that who you are is the best option for them. And I'm willing to bet, like, well, even when I asked the question earlier, like, why should I list my home with you? I had people come on and say, somebody said, because I do daily research. Come on, am I gonna list my home with you because you do daily research? Another person said, uh, because of my energy. Another person said, because my knowledge. Another person said, uh, because of my expertise. Like, come on, am I really? I mean, those are all good answers on, on the surface. But what does it really mean? What does, and, and I asked the question, what, what does that mean? And they said, uh, it means I'm going to be there for you. Uh, it means I am on your side. It means I, I agree with you. I mean, am I going to really list my million dollar property with you because you agree with me or because you're on my side or because you're there for me or because you have great energy or because of your knowledge or because of your expertise? Some people, yeah, they would list with you just because of that. However, when you are in a very competitive marketplace, you know, and, and you're competing for the listing and, and, and the seller has many options, I think that the single most important factor that they're looking for is what's in it for them. What is in it for them? What is in it for them? What's in it for them? So you got to learn how to get them to tell you that what you do has everything that is in their best interest and what's in it for them. And most people flat out don't know how to communicate that. And that's why they go on a listing presentation and the sellers at the end of the presentation, they say one of a few different things. One is I need to think it over, which is a nice way of saying thank you, but no thank you. 
or they say, I want to interview other agents, which is another polite way of saying, I don't think you have everything I'm looking for. I'm going to keep on looking. And if you've been getting that a lot, you and I really need to have a conversation so we can end that because you ain't got no lead generation problem because you're putting yourself in a position to get a contract. You just have a lead conversion problem and you're not able to convert the lead into an actual signed contract. So here's what I want you to start thinking. I want you to start thinking about what you do. What do you do to get a property sold? What do you do for the sellers? What do you do for the buyers? What do you do for the people that you are, your, your leads? And I want you to really understand that what you do is what they don't understand. I mean, you're telling them, you know, you're going to prospect every single day. You're telling them you're going to market their property on social media and you're going to do an open house and you're going to put in the MLS and a bunch of websites and all that stuff. I mean, you're saying all these great things that sound very good. Yeah, they're still not choosing to work with you. Why is it? Because they don't see the benefit. They don't understand the benefit. So I need you to start talking less about what you are going to do and talk about more about what they are going to get when they choose to work with you. So think to yourself right now, what does every single seller want? What does every single seller want? What do they want? Tell me, start typing. What do they want? They want to sell fast. They want top dollar. They want a hassle-free transaction. I mean, if you really think about it, these are the three most important things for every, for most every single seller. So if that is what's most important to them, shouldn't the conversation revolve more around that and nothing else? Because they don't care about anything else. So really audit yourself right now. Really take a look at your presentation in your communication style and, and what you're communicating to the sellers. Are you communicating in a way to where at the end of the presentation, they know you can sell it fast? They know you can get them top dollar and give them a hassle-free transaction? And you can think about it all day and you can say yes. However, if your ratios are below 80% conversion rate, then you're really not communicating it effectively. So I need you to start thinking to yourself, how can I better communicate the benefit or how can I take the feature and draw out the benefit? Have them tell you what the benefit is. I'll give you an example, and then we'll end the video. Mr. Stella, one of the main reasons why most people hire me is simply because of my innovative marketing plan of action. Okay, innovative marketing plan of action is what I am going to do. That is a feature. It's not a benefit. What does that mean? I can't leave what it means up to chance for them to figure that out. I got to tell them. And, or get them to tell me what that means. And what that means for you is I'll bring you four times more buyers than the average agent. Listen to what I just said. I will bring you four times more buyers than the average agent. What I just, just do right there, psychologically, strategically speaking, I just told them that I'm above average. Above average people do this. Above average people, like me, bring you four times more buyers. Bringing you four times more buyers is not even a benefit. It's a feature. And if some of you guys want to challenge me on this and say, well, that is the benefit of an innovative marketing plan that I need you to really strategically begin to think of like, what is the benefit of the benefit? What is the benefit of the benefit? So now I look at you as the seller and say, Mr. Seller, how do you think that will impact the overall sale of your home? I just asked an open-ended question. How do you think that will impact the overall sale of your home? What are they going to say? Well, uh, we will get more offers. And I will look at the eyes and say, you're right. What else? And they'll say, well, if we get more offers, it will give us more money. Okay, remember what we said earlier. What is the main benefit they're looking for? One of the top three main benefits they're looking for is more money. I didn't even tell them I'm going to get them more money. I just got them to say that working with me and me employing my innovative marketing plan of action equals more money for them. Need I say more? I think I've painted the perfect picture. And for many of you guys out there, 
you're probably watching this video and or listening to this on the podcast because I think I'm going to release this on the podcast. It's that much valuable. You're probably thinking to yourself, my gosh, how many listings or sales that I miss out on in the last 12 months because I can't speak with such power and confidence. Think about it. How many opportunities were you presented with over the course of the last 12 months? And you were not able to capitalize on that opportunity because your ineffective way of communication. Was it one deal? For some of you guys, it's like a deal a month. For many of you guys, you missed out on 50 to 100 plus thousand dollars in commissions in the last 12 months because you don't really understand the psychology, the art, and the science of influence. If that's you, and you're ready to not let an opportunity, another opportunity pass you by, then I want you to do the following. I want you to send me a direct message and say, help me become a master of influence. And we'll take it from there. With that said, have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.